Hey guys, just wanted to show you this golf cart I'm working on here. It's a Yamaha uh, YDREX, YDEREX model number. Not sure. Electric cart. And I just wanted to show you back here this rear axle. It has on each end a big sealed bearing. There's one down inside there and another one a little easier to see on this side. And these bearings wear. I just want to show you real quick if you can see. I don't know if you can see that, but you might be able to hear it. There's a lot of play down inside and these bearings need to be replaced. Otherwise they grind out and fall apart. So I'm just going to show you real quick in a couple segments of this video how we do this job. Alright guys. So, the best way that I've found to remove these axle bearings is to, like I said, remove that clip and uh, attach your slide hammer um, to the flood hand, uh, the hub flange, slide hammer. And uh, if this is going to be a nightmare to pull out, you're going to want to attach a clamp or something to the third leg of the of this so that you're pulling from three sides but if you uh, don't have a difficult time pulling this bearing out you can get away with using just two two studs as long as you're careful and gentle with it uh, so a little trick I've learned is if you take one of these blow torches and you warm up the bearing housing aluminum so it warms up quite quickly as it conducts well, conducts heat well. The actual housing will expand and it will uh, allow the bearing to, to be removed usually quite easily. So you basically warm up warm up the aluminum around the outside and then you take your your slide hammer and you give her a few just like that disconnect your slide hammer and uh, you can pull that shaft right out and then we can get started working on removing that bearing all right guys so we've got the uh, axle assembly in the vise and uh, this is the bearing we're working on. I don't know if you can hear that. That sounds awful. Um, what we need to do is remove this hub flange. Then there's a pipe. And then the bearing will press off this way. As it sits up against the ridge here and it won't come off this way. So pull out the cotter pin. I've already done that because I need two hands. I'm going to try and do this single handedly. I'm going to remove that nut, just like that. Now, you want to take a hammer and remove the flange. And there it goes. So that's our clip, that's our flange. As you saw, the washer fell out, the nut, and this is our pin. So here's our assembly. This slides off, and then this here is our bearing which slides off, but we need to press that out in the press. Alright, so we've got our axle shaft assembly sitting in the press. And uh, if you actually go back in my videos, you'll see an unboxing an assembly video of this press. It's my new favorite tool in the shop. So basically what you want to do is just press this down until this bearing basically pops past that spot and then it will slide right off. like that. 
So here we are with our new bearing. We've got the shaft flipped over the other way. And there's the new bearing, just slips on. And uh, basically the exact same way we took the old bearing off, we just want to press the new bearing on. So we've got our hydraulic press here. And uh, we just kind of pump. What it'll do is it'll push this down. You don't really need a press to do this. You could probably do it with a hammer and a block. This is an easy way of doing it. And it's a whole reason to make you guys a video. It's coming down. And you know when you get to the bottom because your pressure will start to go up. So right there, you heard that noise. That was the shaft bottoming out and you can see the pressure start to climb. You don't want to go too high because you'll end up damaging something. So we do the press just like that and voila we have a mounted new bearing. So we're back in the vise with our new bearing nice and smooth and uh, all we need to do is reinstall our sleeve and we don't want to forget our clip and then we've got our hub right here slips on something like that our washer and then our nut. Just make sure this is tight. And we give this a hit with our impact gun. And then we just go get a new cotter pin, pass it through, and this axle is ready to be reinstalled back into the cart.